Hey, bud. How's it growing? Oh, no. Why are you so sad? Other people's houses look better than yours? Well, I know just the thing to turn that frown upside down. Go on, go to your catalogue. You see that gardening kit? That will solve all of your problems. See, doesn't that look better? All I can do is apologize for that intro. It, it sounded better in my head than when I recorded it. So uh, I'm gonna leave it there. But uh, yeah, I, I'm so sorry for that. But today I want to speak, teach you um, just how to garden, really, a more in-depth guide into gardening. I'm going to go through over, go go over the, the organic gags, how to plant flowers, obviously, um, how to get laugh boosts, and so on and so forth. So enjoy the video. So gardening. Now there's quite a few things to talk about when it comes to the flower side of things of gardening, not the trees, but the flowers. Um, firstly, there's a couple of things to take a look at is you've got, as you probably know by now, where everything is, you've got a watering can, uh, and you can level this watering can up four times. So you can start off with a small watering can then a medium, then a large, then a huge watering can. And each time you water something, uh, so for example, let's say you're just starting off, you've just bought your gardening kit and you're planting a flower. Once you plant your flower, when you water that flower, it's going to keep that flower fresh for up to two days on the small watering can. Each time you flower something, you get a point, which is here. So plus one water skill. Once you level, once you water 50 plants, so you get 50 plus ones, uh, you then get a, it's still a small watering can, but it gets an extra bonus. So that goes from uh, keeping your flowers fresh for two days to up to four days. What you can do though is just water your plants multiple times. So I think I've got a large or a huge, so I think it keeps it fresh for 10 days. So if I water it twice, it should go up to 20 days, but there is a cap up to 16 days to keep it fresh. So each time I water my flowers, I don't have to, I just water them once and they're fresh for 10 days. But with a small watering can, it'll be fresh for two days and so on and so forth. I'll put a little chart up so you can see. Um, and yeah, that's the watering cans. Don't forget you can check your watering can progress in your gardening tab in your book just at the bottom here. Also the progress of your shovel, of course. So let's talk about your shovel. Now, when you uh, pick a flower um, and obviously put it into your bag, uh, you'll get plus one to your shovel skill. That happened very quickly, so I'll show you again. So once you pick a flower, you'll get plus one to your shovel skill. Now you want to keep an eye on this and you can keep tabs on it inside your book here. You jump over to gardening, uh, which is just here, and take a look at your shovel skill because each time you level up your shovel, you can then plant dis different varieties of plants. Um, so for example, uh, so once I level this lot up, so I get it all the way up to 320 picked flowers, uh, you then can upgrade, uh, you can then plant flowers up to six jelly beans. Um, so make sure you keep an eye on it. Obviously, when you start, uh, you'll start off with one. Keep an eye on it. Once it upgrades to the next shovel level, you can then plant jelly bean, uh, two, two combination jelly beans. Um, so yeah, keep an eye on it. So I want to show you how to plant flowers. It's super, super easy. So what we got to do, it can be quite, look quite confusing. But what you do is walk up to an empty space. Walk up to it, plant a flower. Now you can see there's quite a few different jelly beans to pick from, jelly bean colors. Um, but you can obviously check on uh, the Toontown Wiki um, or, or ask a friend or something along those lines to find out what combinations you plant. So when you first start, you want to plant one jelly bean. And again, you need to check which jelly bean because not all jelly beans will plant you anything. So if I plant a red flower, a red jelly bean, there's no combination there. So you need to make sure you know one of the combinations and then plant your jelly beans. Also make sure you've got jelly beans in your bank or in your bag, um, otherwise you won't be able to plant anything. Um, if you're struggling for jelly beans, you'll be able to check this video just here. Once you've planted your flower, so again, I'll just show you. Plant your flower, pick your combination. So I think there's a yellow combination. Pick, uh, pick your combination, plant that flower, and don't forget to water it. If you've got a small watering can, you'll have to water it multiple times. Um, as you've seen before, it's two days per water. Whereas if you've upgraded to one of mine, I get 10 days per water. Uh, but that is capped at 16, remember. 
So once you've planted your flower, make sure to water them afterwards, otherwise they'll die. Um, and you can do this every single day. Make sure to do each one of your flowers every single day, and if possible, different flower combinations as well. Now, don't panic if your flowers do die, because all you have to do is walk up to them, water them, and it will revitalize them and bring them back to life. You can't do this with trees, however, but just remember if your flowers do die, you can water them and then pick them. Don't just walk up to them and pick them, otherwise you won't gain a shovel skill. So I wanna talk about how to get a laugh boost from gardening, which is the main reason any of us garden. Although it looks quite nice, the main reason we do it is for gardening, uh, for the laugh boost, sorry. Uh, so the main way to get laugh boost is discovering different um, flowers, so uh, the flower varieties. So when you first start, there'll be one jelly bean you can plant in a plant pot. Um, and there'll be five different combinations, as you can see. Hang on one second. So you've got school daisies, you've got uh, what's incarnation, you've got uh, lily on the, uh, of the alley, uh, laffodil, uh, dandy pansy, and I think that's it. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I'm pretty sure that's it. Yeah, that's it. So um, by planting one of those, um, now the main thing you have to take into consideration when you're planting your flowers, make sure you're sure to do a variety of flowers, not just the same one. The reason you wanna do that because you wanna get these ticked off in your flower album. Every 10 that you tick off, so you tick off the first jelly beans, then once you upgrade to the second two jelly beans, every 10 different flower varieties, just like fishing, every 10 different flower varieties you get, you'll get a laugh boost and you'll get a little trophy. Um, so yeah, make sure to plant different types or as many different types of flowers as possible so you can get that laugh boost. You do also have to sell your flowers. Uh, so once you've picked 20 flowers, you won't be able to carry any more flowers. Um, and then all you have to do is run over to the wheelbarrow. So depending on where you are um, in your estate, um, so depending on which house you are, what you wanna look for is a brown or a yellow patch of sand that you're looking for this wheelbarrow. Run up to this wheelbarrow, you'll automatically get entered into this screen. You'll be able to see what flowers you've picked. And again, up to 20 at a time uh, you can carry and then sell all your flowers. And that's how you sell your um, flowers. So I want to speak about the gag trees or um, organic gags as some people call them, uh, which are these little mounds of dirt that are around your estate uh, that you can eventually grow uh, gags, which is awesome. Um, quite a few things that a lot of people don't know with the gag trees is that they're not just there to be pretty you obviously get an organic gag which is this little leaf here which gives you a benefit to each one of your gags so let's say i've got a lure which i do um it will give me a 10 percent increase in accuracy as you can see at the bottom there so where the base uh for the small magnet i think is 50 percent it will increase to 60 percent so it gives you a 10 percent increase this is across the board so for example a cupcake uh, has a damage of six uh, this won't affect the accuracy the only accuracy affecting one is the uh, lure but um the, the cupcake has a damage of six increased by 10 percent to a minimum of one so everything has to be increased by at least one so if it's below 10 percent or if you know 10 percent of six is 0.6 so um it will give me one so the damage for that will change to seven which is absolutely awesome you can do that all the way up to your wedding cake or whatever gag you're choosing um, so, for example, the wedding cake would go from damage 120 all the way up to 132 damage. So you can do some awesome combos with this. You can do, there's just loads you can do with it, which is absolutely amazing. A lot of people do pick organic throw, but we'll get into which is the best one in another video. Um, another thing people don't know about the gag trees um, is that you can actually pick gags from the trees, which is really cool. So, for example, I have zero uh, hypno goggles, whereas if I walk up to my tree, I can pick the tree. You could do this once a day, which is awesome. You can see I collect the gags, and it gives me a uh, full stack of um, hypno goggles, and it will give you up to 10, but obviously they capped at three, um, the sixth level gags. So, is that six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six level, six, six level gags are capped at three. And again, you can do this all the way across the board. Keep picking your um, gags just to give yourself, you know, free gags every single day. And the best thing about organic gags is you can get a presentation or, you know, an opera singer, the level seventh gag by walking up to it and picking it. Obviously, mine's already capped at the moment, but you can pick that once a day, which is really, really cool. So don't be afraid to use your organic uh, level seven gag because you can just pick one from your tree. So I'll quickly show you how to plant one. Super simple. Obviously, get the gardening kit, run up to a mound of dirt plant a tree and you plant your tree. Now, 
when you plant your first gag, which like I said, a level one gag, it will take three days to grow. Um, so we can water that quickly. So it takes three days to grow. Um, every level from there, so for example, if I, if I planted a fruit pie slice, it would take six days to grow. So each time you go up, it increases by three days um, of planting time. Um, all the way up to, I think, 21 at the highest. So uh, 3, 6, 9, 12, so on and so forth. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much um, gag trees. They're absolutely awesome. Don't forget to plant your gags. One thing to note about gag trees is that you do have to plant them in order. Um, so you have to plant a level 1 gag first, and then you're able to plant a level 2 gag, then a 3, then a 4, then a 5, so on and so forth. Um, what you can do though, is because there's seven slots where you can pa uh, plant uh, gags, there is one extra. Now, there's not a lot you can do with that, unfortunately, but you can, for example, plant a little cupcake um, and it just gives you a little bit of fun. But yes, you do have to plant all of the gags in succession. Another really cool thing in Toontown is the, uh, the statues, which are really, really cool. They don't give you any benefits as in like laugh boosts or or uh, uh, organic gags or any benefit whatsoever they just look nice how you get them um over a period of time you can get different ones and special limited edition ones so on and so forth but if you run into your catalog uh flick for a, the first couple of pages and what you'll see is when it loads what you'll see is the different uh, statues you can buy so for example uh you've got a donald statue and as you keep going on, you've got more and more and more uh, gardening supplies, so on and so forth. But as you keep going on, unfortunately, you do have to be a certain skill level to be able to plant them. So I'm just going to quickly show you. So once you buy one, all you do is run straight over to the, um, the statue port, which I'll do quickly now. So what you want to do is run up to this little podium here, plant an item, and you can flick through your different options. So if you're picking the Donald's um, uh, statue, uh, you have to put in a specific code to plant it and you can check on this on the wiki it's super easy it's different for every single statue you plant and once you planted it there you go again there's no benefits to it but they do look really good um, and just adds a little bit of character to your um, to your estate thank you so much for um, watching my video I really really appreciate it uh, I think I've gone for anything I don't think I've missed anything if I have let us know down in the comments a uh, comments that'll be really really helpful other than that it should be on screen right now uh, that way, a couple of videos. Uh, feel free to check them out if you feel like it. Um, if not, maybe even just a like and subscribe if you found this um, found this guide helpful. Thank you so much. Bye.